Nisha, well after days of digging on a sprawling farm in Bucks County, authorities announced that they have uncovered the remains of Dean Finiciaro, one of the four men who mysteriously disappeared last week. We do have team coverage this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live in Ben Salem with reaction from friends of one of the missing men. But let's begin with Eyewitness News reporter Trang Do. She is live in Solberry Township with the major developments overnight. Trang, good morning. Good morning, Rahel and Jim. The DA made this stunning announcement at a midnight news conference that Dean Finocciaro's body was recovered and that he was killed. The DA also said that a number of remains were found in this common grave, but that those remains have not yet been identified. A tent covers the 12 and a half foot grave where investigators painstakingly recovered the remains of 19 year old Dean Finocciaro, one of the four young men who went missing last week. This is a homicide, make no mistake about it. We just don't know how many homicides we are yet to know the answer to that question. Cadaver dogs led police to the location on the sprawling 90 acre property in Solberry, owned by the family of Cosmo DiNardo, the person of interest in the disappearances of Jimmy Patrick on Wednesday and Dean Finocciaro, Tom Mio, and Mark Sturgis on Friday. Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintraub is not saying how Finocciaro was killed, adding that investigators are working to identify other remains found in the grave. There are additional human remains inside that grave. So this painstaking process will go on. We're not done yet. Meanwhile, 20 year old Cosmo DiNardo is back in jail after his father bailed him out on unrelated weapons charges on Tuesday. Police arrested DiNardo again on Wednesday. He's accused of stealing and trying to sell the car of Tom Mio, one of the missing men. Police found the car on the DiNardo family property with the title and Mio's diabetic kit inside, a kit his family says he needed to stay alive. And we're going to see this investigation to the end. We're going to bring each and every one of these lost boys home to their families one way or another. DiNardo is being held on $5 million bail on those theft charges. He will have to post that entire amount in order to be freed. Meanwhile, no other charges have yet been filed. But for now, we're live in Solbury Township. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back to you. Thank you, Trang. Let's turn now to Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello. She is live in Ben Salem again. She is at Holy Ghost Prep with more now on the connection between DiNardo and one of the missing men. Jan, good morning. Rahel, good morning. We're talking about 19 year old Jimmy Patrick. He's a 2016 graduate of Holy Ghost here in Ben Salem, and he actually just finished up his freshman year at Loyola University in Baltimore. This morning, we were able to talk to a couple of his friends. They are still holding out hope and praying for his safe return. Take a look at the video. This is Jimmy Patrick from Newtown Township. There have been a lot of questions about how these missing men are possibly linked to Cosmo DiNardo, the person of interest in this case. Well, Patrick and DiNardo are listed as friends on Facebook. Online records also indicate that DiNardo and Patrick attended Holy Ghost together, although DiNardo was a year ahead, graduating in 2015. Now, Jimmy Patrick was the first of the four men to be reported missing last week. Patrick reported missing on Wednesday. The other three men reported missing on Friday. Patrick's college friend says say he's a good student, a kind person. He's popular among his classmates. His friends are holding on to hope despite investigators finding human remains in a common grave overnight. We've been like updating all the news channels and trying to figure out what's going on. Like there's so much liberal well, until today. There was so much limited information on what the situation was. Um, I but feel like always... Jimmy especially too. Yeah. Like he's the most in the dark. Yeah. So um, obviously you don't want to think about the worst, but you kind of have to in order to wrap your head around it. Still, Jimmy Patrick has an entire community here praying for him, not only at Holy Ghost in Ben Salem, but down south in Baltimore at Loyola University. That school actually held a prayer service for him yesterday. We will continue to keep you up to date. But for now, we're live in Ben Salem. Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim Morrell, back into you. All right, Jan, thank you.